Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ again. Thank you so much for coming by on my channel today. We are going to make another gnome. Yeah, another gnome. We are making another gnome, a different gnome from the dollar store. And everything I use are from the dollar store. And yes, let's get into this. And I hope you like it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And as I promised, I'm going to make another gnome. So here I go again. So here we go. Let's go. Let's get into this. Here we go. All right. So the first one that we are going to need is this one. This little ornament decoration and you get this at the dollar store and I got this at the dollar store too so pretty cool and a hat and this one you got this at the dollar store as well terrarium planner this is super cool and we'll see what we can make to that and of course a headband super cute headband and what we are just going to use is just this fur right here that's what we are going to take it out in that area and if you can find a if you can find a white one but I got this one this is the last one went over at the dollar store and this is the last one that I found I get lucky and a felt vase filler this is what we're going to use for our nose if you can use this ornament nose and wrap it with a felt that would be perfect you can also use a marble if you want to and of course you are going to need a glue gun I already preheated mine so hopefully all right so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this tag here and I kind of don't need those and I just want to leave this one here and for some reason I just want to leave this holder for the something I don't know why I want to leave it there but let's just leave that in there okay so you don't have to work too hard and I need this hat usually you use this when it's winter and it's almost winter here and it's it's still not winter here but it's already freezing here in the place where I lived so we are going to use that and of course you have to make your glue gun ready and what I want is I want to put this in here super closer to the place where I want it to that angle and then the hole it should be in there and what I want is I might have to cut this I think I think I'm just going to cut this super cute and I want to aim just like so, like that in this angle. And let's see how, what space am I going to cut this. All right, so I might have to cut down in this area. I kind of want to keep the red, the red one. And hopefully I can, I can do that. All right, so let's cut this one here. So what I did is I tried to remove this black left over down here. So what I did is I just grabbed this area and cut them. Just remove not almost the rest of the black but just those piece because I'm going to make the light see through it. So that's why I wanted to do it that way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this this thing this it's this flat surface down here there is a flat surface and I want that to be the bottom of the gnome okay so that's what I wanted that way and I will try to make it tighter just like so to that gnome's face 
So I don't want to worry about too much on the back right now. And what I want is I just want that to tuck in just like so like that. And I'm going to try and glue the bottom face in there so I know that's the bottom area of the gnome. So let's see and just aim like so. And hopefully I can do it. And here we go. All right, so that part is glued. The good thing about the glue gun is that you can make it faster. If you want your work be done fast, then you are good to go. Now, I'm just going to tuck this in like so. Like I'm trying to sew this part. There you go. And try to do it just like that. And it doesn't need to be perfect guys because this part is going to be awesome there you go and then keep it going until you reach like make a little something like that so they look pretty okay so I'm going to make a something like that so they have angle like that and this is what we are going to work on guys is our gnome so this one I will tuck this one in more let me remove this part all right let me glue this one all the way in all right, now it's glued. And once you know it's already in that area, you can determine that it's doing super pretty already. And those that are dangling inside, you can pull it out and glue it to the inside. All right. Just do like how I do it. Perfect. And pull it. Be very, very generous with your glue because your project is going to be worth it when it's done and over. All right, so we are almost done. This is just the most tricky part, you guys, is tucking in those stuff. Now, there you go. Now we are almost done with our little tiny gnome. What are we going to do is we are going to get our hat this is going to be the gnome's hat and what i want is i want to break this in half and hopefully i can break this in half let's put this one aside i want to break this in half so hopefully i can work on this there you go now they are broken in half and all you can do is just glue that end part so it covers it all up don't worry about it because we are going to cover the others anyways and just break this and there you go you have that thing removed and let me cut this for a little bit there's like a leftover glue on it from some manufacturing so there you go the gnomes has a pretty hat already all right so next what i want to use is i grabbed this decoration ornament so hopefully this could be the
tail of the gnome's hat. So I'm just going to tuck that in there. I just want to cover that hole in there, so that's why I just want to do it like so. And just diligently or put a glue in there and just hold it really tightly until it holds it just now that gnome has a pretty pretty hat and just secure the top with a glue now since the hat are done we are going to work on our gnomes see look how pink they are i just leave it like that so because we are going to let's cut this one off and remove this from the headband so hopefully i can remove it all right so that is removed and i want to cut this little thickness in there i want that removed i don't want that in there Now it is perfectly removed. Next is I'm going to tuck this hat here and right there would be the gnome's thing. But first we are going to make a gnome's nose, all right? We are going to use this one to create a gnome's nose. And I want to use the bigger size, so let's get this one. And face filler and glue it down just like so. Let's get this one down. Just want that secured down there. There is our gnome's nose ready to go. I want that just like so, like that, hanging out just like that. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to make an angle down here so I can tuck in the gnome's nose underneath. And there you go. I just cut them down. So let's do this. Okay. All right. Okay, since you put this nose already down here, you are going to do the gnome's beard next don't do the hat yet okay so gnome's beard first and then since we cut this angle down here like a angle we just have to tuck that like so closer to that gnome's nose so it forms closer in there and all you have to do is just let it be and hopefully it dries real fast and then you can put the gnome's hat just like so all right 
So now you have an awesome gnome in there. So what I want to do is I like to put a glue around that hat so I can stick it to that gnome. All right. Be very generous with your gnome. Putting a glue on it. All right. Hold it down. There you go. Super perfect. And look at that. We got an awesome gnome. From that little planter. And then all you have to do is just secure the side with a glue again. And we are going to do the same way on this other side. There you go. And what I like to do is I like to secure also the bottom down here so the pink won't show. And that's it. There you go. Our gnome is done. And all we have to do is we are going to grab this little tea light candle. And we are going to put one of these inside our gnome right there. And let's see how it goes and it's going to light up just like that and there you go there is our gnome and then the inside part in there is we are going to put this light down inside and it's going to light up our gnome it's going to be super pretty